I'm pissed, and I don't even know how to put this into words, let alone do the usual. Might as well let everybody else walk all over us. Apparently we have. Apparently we have. Well, if it's if it's paid attention to, it's 5:12 Pacific Standard Time PM. It's still the 18th of May, 2023. Uh, let's just say, Florida fucked up, so did Tennessee at this point over here. I just found out about Tennessee. And Florida, shit, they're really, really going on a transgender people, I swear. No affirming care, no gender affirming care for minors. There's a ban on that. There's a ban on, on human dignity in Florida. But hey, you Floridians wanted this asshole in the gut in in the office. You guys wanted all this damn shit. Why the hell would I be nice to you assholes if you don't be nice to your own people? Well, I'm sorry. Do you consider transgender people? I mean, are they humans? Are they people? But you don't care for them. A little further up the up the east coastline you have a state that's already had enough massacre and trauma and bloodshed and the governor said he was going to help in it sure he'd help in it he'd help himself you know what he did he put a liability shield on people who actually manufacture as agents of death the tools of death they must be protected under the second second amendment they must be and the GOP is wonderful with it. I don't even know how to put this more in words. Tennessee, you want the killings? The gun manufacturers are laughing at that because they just paid off the damn governor and the uh, legislative body. Somehow in secret, there was a bill made, and the governor of Tennessee signed it. And if you're a gun manufacturer and you're going to be, you're going to be manufacturing these tools, they're going to kill people. And they're going to kill people, and they're going to kill people, and they're going to kill more people. But hell, you're a gun manufacturer, you don't give a shit. You're just doing it for the profit, so therefore is there... There's a limit, there's a shield, a liability shield to protect your ass. Meaning if I was going to be manufacturing AR-15s and M60s, and maybe MAC-10s, and I set up shop in Tennessee with the intent of just selling these weapons to anybody because I want the money. And I will get people swarming me because they want the guns. But then again, I hear stories as the gun manufacturer that my guns that I just sold days later are now evidence with law enforcement because they shot up. They were used to shoot up people left and right. They were used to kill people left and right. And in the process, kids were killed. Mamas were killed. Daddies were killed. Brothers and sisters were killed. A massacre. A gunman pulled a gun on himself. But I'm going to listen to this stuff, and I'm thinking, hey, the guns worked. Calls from the people who are demanding my head on a pike. And I'll be saying to them, hey, the state governor here just said that I'm protected. I can mass produce all this damn stuff. 
You want to buy some to protect yourselves from me? I need the profits. See, human life is worthless now. We're cheap fucking commodities. Maybe we got too much people in the, in the earth and maybe we need to get rid of them. So it doesn't matter if anyone lives or dies. Me being a gun manufacturer in a state that just allowed protection laws for the manufacturers, I'm going to say, well, let's do some surface population control. I have the tools. I'm selling it up to people left and right. Hell, I got a mail order system going on right now. I'm selling the, I'm selling the weapons because my manufacturing plant is full and operating. People who are just making the guns and want to make a living and don't want to make the money and don't have the heart to say that human beings of any sorts matter. No, we have gun enthusiasts who want to shoot up everything and everything. And we're, we're going to supply the uh, ammunition. We're going to supply the mechanizations. We're going to supply everything that makes you feel less human. Oh, by the way, we're willing to ship to uh, Florida at this point over here and see what uh, what we can do down there. And if you have any transgender people, well, we don't care, now do we? We're the gun manufacturer of this particular state that just put up a liability shield for us to make our weapons of death. So now we'll go to the different states left and right and we'll prove our hardware, any ammunition, our sound which means I as a fictitious gun manufacturer in the state that just allowed a liability shield for the gun manufacturers at this point I'm not responsible if someone happens to buy my fictitious products go over to a state that just allow bans and controls and stuff like that and start shooting up to places left and right. How about even worse than that? Let's go let's go worse on this one here. I as a fictitious gun manufacturer am willing to sell guns to those who want to storm capital steps of government places. We want uh, we want demonstrations of them. We have no heart. We have no soul. We want money. We want blood on our green and blood on our silver pieces. We want blood. I had to take a break to listen to other political news going on. The weaponization hearing continuing with Jim Jordan at the mouth and at the chair and trying to steer everything towards his way. And he didn't like the Democrats, but the Democrats are on there and they were still trying to get information and, and whatever they can out of Jim Jordan. He was just being an asshole completely. Isn't that wonderful? See, this seems to be the season for the Trumplicants and non-humans to... Um, rule our country. Apparently people who are different are bad. They're very bad. Because the Republicans say so. And we are now at the hands of the Republican controlled houses of governments in the states who are making it so that their fiefdoms are protected legally, one way or another. Putting conservative judges out there who are not thinking about what's good for the country, it's only what's good for them and our party. So now we really do, we really do not have a united, but we have a divided States of America. 
And the only thing I can say is, when the elections come up, I hope people actually reclaim what's left of their intelligence in their hearts. Because if not, we got what we wanted. Chaos and confusion. We didn't protest, we didn't organize, and we sure as hell didn't fight like hell. We're seeing a country going hell in a henbasket at this point. Worse than what I've read about in the 1960s. Back then, there was just people rising up against the government because they didn't like the war happening in Vietnam. Losing so many people left and right, and they finally see what's going on. And they went nuts. They went absolutely nuts. Got to a point where there was a shootout in Kent State, except the students weren't firing back. They were getting shot at by the National Guard. Or dead in Ohio. Crosby, Stills, and Nash and Young actually made that song in response to what the Kent State Massacre was. So, question. Do we need massacres? We, uh, do, do we actually need more and more massacres like this? So if, if we have to protest, um, are we going to have massacres from the state governments who are actually going to be using guns against their citizens like they did back in 1960? I wouldn't put it past the Republicans. They don't know what the hell to do. They want their they want their guns. They want law enforcement, but they're willing to, to tear apart law enforcement. Schmucks in uh, in Congress are trying to put up a bill. Gates was one of them to defund the ATF. There was a bill in resolution, theoretically it's supposed to be today. Um, Supporting law enforcement, and yet law enforcement was getting his ass torn apart by so-called whistleblowers in a weaponization committee hosted by Jim Jordan. What the fuck is happening these days? Even better yet, how about having a politician going after a guy who's questioning his lawmakers, and he gets tackled, or Janet pushed out of the way, because... These guys think this guy was a threat and he was trying to get answers and he's getting manhandled. Man, this is a lawsuit right here. This is a lawsuit right here. This is a civil rights violation against a lawmaker who is threatening. And now he's getting his ass torn apart by uh, people left and right. I hope so. So much for holding people accountable at this point over here. But our media is eating it up because this asshole had to be an asshole. He's not a security guard. He's a lawmaker. But he had been a former police officer who had been almost thrown off the damn force. But he resigned. And he still retained his ways. Clay Higgins. What an asshole. A former police officer who uh, engaged in violence. And it's violating civil rights even to this day. And then you have Marjorie Taylor Greene, the mouth of the South, supporting that action. And then spinning her own damn bullshit. But hey, what was I saying to the other earlier concerning about our country going hell in a handbasket? According to the GOP, we're fine. We gotta put a lockdown on anything and everybody. Maybe we should have taken back it over to the 1960s then. 
At least back then it was a little bit more honest. A lot more honest. At least you know what the hell the GOP was standing for. You didn't have the maggots out there. These days, we got the maggots. We got the extremes. We got... So maybe we ought to have our, our citizens shot up. If we're going to have states going to be putting liability issues, liability shields on gun manufacturers, protect the guys who make the instruments to kill people left and right and claim innocence because it's not our job, not our responsibility. Hell, I'm just a fictitious gun owner right here and gun manufacturer, and I'm going to make and I'm going to make a gun that's going to increase profits and decrease population. Without even feeling happy that the people are going to die left and right. Doesn't matter who and what they are. Ay. So probably in conclusion, America gets everything that it deserves. The people are not pissed off, but they're brain dead. They want this country the way it is, going downhill, then who am I to argue? Except I'm arguing. I'm sick and I'm pissed off at my own countrymen. It doesn't give a shit about the. Doesn't give a shit anything else about themselves. It's the only thing they. It's the only thing they want is things for themselves. How does that grab you? If we happen to get into another mass shooting, I'll blame the people. Because the people voted the, the lawmakers in. The people had to make sure that the gun manufacturers are liability free. Want to make sure that we have the right politicians over there continuing to blush, bloodshed and all the prayers and prayers and prayers. Because the people didn't do a damn thing. They didn't force the government's hand by demonstrating loudly or constantly knocking on the government's door of their states and their local communities. They didn't bother to tell them that your time is up, we're through the bloodshed, get out. And not to mention... They're going to have issues with law enforcement because law enforcement will be on the lawmakers' side at this point. See, we already got conservative judges already in place, federal and local and national. They're willing to put this country downhill because their pieces of silver are still too damn shiny. There's not enough blood on it. There's not enough blood on it. So, we haven't made anybody sick enough. Not enough bloodshed, not enough guns, not enough crazy people given the permission by lawmakers and by the public and by the gun manufacturers and everybody who worships the instruments of death. And those who follow it, and those who want it, and those who keep getting paid off by the silver pieces. Those who are willing to go to Congress and lie their asses off. And say, but it's the other guy's fault. We didn't do anything except something to piss off our, our employers at this point over here by jeopardizing the safety of our country. But, you know, screw the country. We still want our bases. We still need to get our families fed. And this guy was was kind enough to, to pay us. Well, 
That's a lot of pieces of silver. And they're still too damn shiny. They're not tarnished enough with red. But hey, you folks want this. United States, I'm sorry, the divided states of America. While the other countries are laughing their asses off at us, the ones who really hate us the most, and they're willing to step back and watch us self-destruct. Now we were voted in a gas bag a while ago and voted in extremism in different places. So yeah, we might as well see our country go hell in a handbasket. We'll blame everybody else. But we won't take accountability, responsibility, or transparency at this point over here. We won't say it's our own damn fault. It's the other schmuck's fault. Let him be the target. Welcome to our country.